validators, fact checkers, discerners. So I'm here on the Linwood Telegram channel. Currently has 813,000 subs. If you go back through videos to January, you'll see a video series of some anonymous individual who makes fantastic sounding claims concerning Mike Pence, among others. I'll play just a segment for you. So back to Rod Rosenstein for a moment. Um, what can you tell us about his involvement with foreign nations with any type of intelligence transfer in situ groups outside of the country? Uh, this goes back to the uh, FBI operation called Ghost Stories. It was very successful. They just kept heavy surveillance on known Russian assets within the U.S. Everything they were doing, whatever they, were doing, they found, you know, what they were communicating back. It was just surveillance, but if you knew what they were sending back, then it, it would go the other way. You could tell what they were accessing, what they had access to. It's a really good operation. It was supposed to be very successful. It was Obama um, and Biden uh, who did the uh, Russian reset along with Secretary Clinton. And they didn't want any uh, problems with the Russians. Of course, you read them the rest of them. So uh, they told them to cancel it. Well, they didn't. They kept uh, their communication open with them. But it just changed. And they, instead of just surveillance, they started communicating, started providing information. And initially it was wrong, but then they started just flat out giving it to them in an exchange type of situation. Uh, and then they started altering the information giving them information, giving them accurate information. They were working from the other side. Rob was aware of this, he was part of it at this time because once it was shut down, it became under the heading of the DOJ in Maryland and DC. So he was part of it and they were giving us this information. They tried to pay him and he didn't take it. Uh, he, he, got to, he was like, oh no, 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 because they were coming towards 2015, 2016 at the time, and he was angling for a big position. Attorney General, Supreme Court, and hopefully Vice President. So he didn't want anything like that to pop up. Well, Sean Bridges was actually taking the money they were offering. He was, he was laundering it through Bitcoin around the world. And Rod was hyper pissed when he found out. It's one of the reasons he went after Sean and uh, put him in jail. He's still there. So you see, he speaks in a very detailed and matter of fact manner concerning international intrigue involving Rod Rosenstein. Recently, podcaster who goes by the conservative hippie at jfrat on twitter produced a podcast here titled claims of p and c to m he covers a recent Stu peter show episode where the john's here to help twitter profile announces himself as the linwood whistleblower the john's here to help twitter profile previously posted very intriguing commentary on a variety of topics in government if you'd like to find him on Gab, you just type John's here to help Gab and then click on a link for DuckDuckGo search. Here is his current account. Now I'll play a portion from his show here. Talking about Rod Rosenstein and Vice President Mike Pence. He's talking about Mike Pence's sexuality and compromat that was attained by following uh, Vice President Mike's, Mike Pence and illegally spying on him and these untoward and possibly illegal relationships that Mike Pence was involved in with children. Just listening to those videos and, and doing this podcast now makes me nervous. This is explosive information that this person is giving. And this is just the start. Hang with me. I know I started with one of the most salacious, one of the most explosive. But hang with me because I think it's important that we get through these whistleblower tapes that were anonymous at one time are no longer anonymous because this is where this is where the thread starts for me. The whistleblower tapes also have some admissions in them and that's where the anonymous source again no longer anonymous we'll get to that. This anonymous source uh, says he was a part of what is called, what he names, the Dirty Trick Squad. And this is one of those things that I was able to um, go just a couple layers deeper and investigate. And one of these Dirty Trick Squad members that he names is in jail right now, a, C a former um, Secret Service member named Sean Bridges. So there's, there's tangible facts out there that correlate to what he's talking about. Uh, let's let's get to that part. 
Uh, Dirty Squad, just a nickname. So it was the official. This group of people that we had the dirty or they controlled. I was one that was controlled. The others were uh, Sean Henry, FBI, uh, Sean Bridges, Secret Service, Rosati, Joseph Rosati, who was the DEA, Alan Borishock, was ATF. Uh, and Greg Utz, who was uh, the TFO with the uh, DEA, but he was formerly Baltimore County Police. This was the basis of the Dirty Trick Squad, the computer experts, you had the muscle, you had the technical experts, and that's what they were doing. And then so yes, we'll have to figure out who are these Dirty Trick Squad members. And I think it's worthwhile studying the Linwood videos. So again, to navigate to the videos, I'll show you. You just click on videos there, and you scroll down to January. January is when these interviews were conducted. So I linked through to the conservativehippie.com, and I will show you this reading here. Everything changed on June 23rd. While the world was doing their usual pontificating masturbation surrounding the death of John McAfee, the Stu Peter show was dropping one of the biggest bombshell news reports of 2021. The Linwood whistleblower was coming out of the shadows, and he's running for public office. His name is Dr. Jonathan McGreevy. So then I clicked through to get to the <laughs> Stu Peter show, and it looks like there's been an error. Sorry, the page is missing. But the interview can be found here on Rumble, titled Dr. John McGreevy, Ryan Dark White, John Here to Help Whistleblower Interview. Actually, I may be mistaken, because I'm reading the description here. It says... The individual segments along with the full video were pulled from public view July 13, 2021 after Steve Peters Show was made aware of pending investigative report meant to discredit McGreevy as a credible whistleblower. After contacting several outside sources confirming independent information, interviewing persons possessing knowledge of certain certain confidence, an internal decision has been made to make the interview and transcript publicly available. Okay, so it's here after all. So play a segment here. Here, Stu Peters asks Dr. McGreevy directly if Pence is a child liker. Yes, yes he is. Uh, the young man that I mentioned in Linwood's interview, I'm speaking to Pence right now, is it, is it, let's test Mike Pence's memory. Hey Mike, do you know when you betrayed President Trump and the entire country just a few weeks ago? Probably not. Do you remember a young man named Jeremy? from about six years ago. Because we do, and we know where he lives. And, you know, he remembers you. <laughs> so he's on, he's 20 now, but you know. I'm yep, so some young man named Jeremy was allegedly a victim of then Vice President Mike Pence. I will put a link to this interview, as well as the Conservative Hippies video as a pin in the comments. I haven't fully decided, but there may be more content forthwith that will cover just this video interview content from January. That's all. Peace.